Okay, hi everyone. I just started my long form meditation. Happy Valentine's Day. The message from spirit is be mindful of narcissism. Narcissism is the broken heart. So if you're feeling hurt and dejected at this time in, uh, on Valentine's Day, maybe someone forgot to wish you a happy Valentine's Day or Maybe they rubbed their good fortune in your face. Look at what my husband gave me, knowing full well that you're alone. All those actions can be narcissism. We want to show the world what we have that they don't have. There's a level of malevolence in social media where we try to one up each other the need to feel good about ourselves at the expense of somebody else, as if we've stolen some of their happiness from them. So Valentine's Day this year, we wanna meditate on how we can be more inclusive to one another, how we can realize that it's no fun to go to a party by yourself. You wanna celebrate with good people who are all trying to create heaven on earth for themselves and share it with the world. So that's the message from spirit. Um, let's move away from ego, whether it's, you know, being a reader who sends strange messages from her bedroom. <laughs> uh, and instead, let's just be mindful of how we can be present and try and lift everybody up. So that is the Valentine's Day message. Second part of the message is a little bit more serious and it has to do with the fact that there are some things that the Pentagon and the president are not telling us right now about high alert, that we are at high alert for a potential military attack. So uh, based on spirit, the high alert is higher as high as it was during the height of the Cold War. And so the increase in concerns and air, they're looking at air to shoot down any drones that might be weaponized, anything that might be carrying nuclear debris, bringing a bomb in, or if any of these drones happen to be weaponized, if any of the drones start hitting US military targets because the enemy now has excellent photographs and images that have been supplied via our former president, via security leaks, via Google Maps. They've been able to construct a lot of information about where so certain targets are. Also, they have people inside those targets. So the point is this, we're now at high alert for these types of drones entering because there's a, a real tension that has to be cooled between the East and the West. And so there's a concern we're looking at a potential attack where uh, we could be hit by drones. An increasing concern about attacks from drones that have been weaponized. They're worried about a potential joint attack at this time between Russia, North Korea, and China. And so consequently, we're at high risk for World War III and uh, the threat level remains high. The only way to resolve this conflict is an emergency uh, military meeting between uh, US with mediation there were, uh, there's something about a possible emergency meeting taking place in some place, Oceania, possibly Australia, uh, maybe because they feel that's going to be more neutral than if they were to meet in Europe. I don't know. Um, but that is the situation. That's why we're seeing an increase of military activity at this time, shooting down what they believe to be possible spy and military drones. Okay, thank you, everyone. Said good positive prayers out because it is a very much a tense time and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.